Peony one, Elsie. Go for Peony one. Verify HB storage math. And we all know that when the going gets tough, and it often does, the tough get going. And you have. And Sonny and I are honored to share this dream of space flight with each and every one of you. So with that, LC, let's get going. Now let's put some fire in this rocket. Please. In the second phase of the 10 meter hold, uh, the NASA docking system. Now less than three meters away. Point 0.5 meters. We have confirmation of contact and capture of NASA's Boeing crew flight test and Starliner. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. Sunny William coming through in her blue flight suit. Oh and followed shortly behind by commander of Starliner, Butch Wilmore. Now back on the space station, the third visit for both astronauts and the first crewed flight test of the Starliner spacecraft. Butch Sunny, we are glad to see them all here in the International Space Station. And uh, we want to congratulate the uh, whole team uh, in different uh, motion con mission control center for launch, for docking, and uh, of the end, we are very happy. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, we are thrilled as well. Um, I'm not sure we could have gotten a better welcome. I mean, <laughs> we had music, we had Pojo, uh, Matt was dancing. <laughs> it was great. Let's go forward into Starliner, where uh, there was a little bit of action the other day. So I'm going to lead you down through the PMA, PMA 2, into Starliner. All right, going in through the <laughs> IDA, the docking adapter, and then into the spacecraft. Here we are. Looks like a lot of bags because there's a lot of packing, and also this big orange thing, which is our ventilation that we get to, from the space station while we are docked to the space station. It's, uh, it looks probably a little cramped, and uh, it's actually fairly roomy for just Sonny and myself with just the two of us. Uh, obviously, you don't need a large cockpit, so it's actually sized perfectly for us as far as for controlling the spacecraft. Uh, and, of course, all this other area down here earlier where you saw the baggage and whatnot is where the other couple of crew members would be for the next time the Starliner flies. Starliner, or, um, uh, Star One mission, there'll be two crew members down here. Awesome. Awesome, and thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you for being with us, and Butch and I are, again, so honored to be part of this crew. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed. Associate Administrator Jim Free, Associate Administrator for Space Operations Ken Bowersox. In the uh, vicinity of the landing site, again, this is a, a view from a little lower than the WB-57. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. And I think, you know, from a human perspective, uh, all of us feel uh, happy about the successful landing, but then there's a piece of us, all of us, that we wish it would have been the way we had planned it. We had planned to have the mission land with Butch and Sonny on board. I think there's, depending on who you are on the team, uh, different emotions associated with that. And uh, for Steve Stitch. Um, if a crew had been on board the spacecraft tonight, uh, would anything have... Obviously, when you have uh, an issues like we've had, there's some changes that need to be made. Uh, Boeing's on board with that. We're all on board with that. And I can tell you, um, when you push the edge of the envelope again and you do things with spacecraft that have never been done before, just like Starliner, you're going to find some things. And in this case, we found some things that we just could not get comfortable with uh, putting us back in the Starliner when we had other options. Uh, sunset, so they are now in an orbital nighttime, flying about 260 miles away. Copy, hatch open. <laughs> Bell has been rung. Alexander Gorbanov, the first through of Crew 9, being welcomed by Expedition 72. Next up is Crew 9 Commander Nick Haig. Welcome to the International Space Station. And Nick, welcome back home to the International Space Station. It's great to be here with bringing the 72 back up to 11. Commander Matt Dominic as she gets suited up in her seat ready for undock. I mission control to our teams at in Hawthorne, Jesse and Sandra back over. Greetings from the International Space Station. Our crew up here just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to all our friends and family who are down on earth and everyone who is supporting us. And of course, in a personal sense, our family, our friends, those that are lifting up prayers for us and have been, we're grateful for that. We're grateful for a nation that is a spacefaring nation that lets us live free, um, say what we think is, is important to say, and so many other things. So much to be thankful for in this season. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Welcome to the International Space Station as we get ready for the Christmas holidays. It's a great time of year up here. We get to spend it with all of our family up on the International Space Station. There's seven of us up here, and so we're going to get to enjoy company together. And of course, Christmas is Christ. Hallelujah. A Savior is born. So from all of us to all of you, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And Sonny, it looks like we lost your HECA again. If you could uh, see if that powered off. There you go. Good luck. And Ephraim saying November, November is correct. Marjorie, are you back? Yeah. I wish you good luck, nominal descent, soft landing, and all the best. Don't worry, you are leaving station in good hands. We will miss you.
Okay, thank you for everybody for joining us, and um, we have cake to celebrate the situation. We are we are always ready. <laughs> And here they come. Crew 10 taking their first steps outside as they prepare for their journey to the International Space Station. From left to right, Kirill Peskov, Nicole Ayers, Ann McLean, and Takuya Onishi. Yeah, absolutely. I know that they are all so proud of her today. So excited for her. I know the other astronauts and cosmonauts that are flying, and every launch, of course, is very special. When ignition and go We're continuing to get good callouts on the first stage performance so far. And there we have our first images of the crew inside the Dragon spacecraft as they make their way into orbit. At 7.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time today and are now in orbit. They are set to arrive at their destination, the International Space Station. It was a spectacular launch. I'm really happy to have the crew on their way to the International Space Station and looking forward to seeing their happy faces on board very soon. Um, as is mentioned, they'll dock tomorrow night, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, to the forward port of the International Space Station. Um, <clears throat> we're going to have a, a short handover with uh, the Crew 9 guys coming home uh, no earlier than Wednesday at this point. Okay, we just have a few more seconds, so we can grab one more from Will. To have the view from Dragon itself as it moves up towards the docking axis, which you're seeing now. Now, when you see those displays, you'll see... Once that happens, um, they will conduct a series of leak checks. And there on your screen, you just saw NASA <laughs> astronaut Sunny Williams actually floating um, right in front of that hatch that will be open in just a little bit. Crew 10. Onishi, the first Crew-10 astronaut, through the hatch. Followed by Peskov. Nicole Ayers, the first of the flies, newest class of astronauts to enter. And last, commander of Crew-10, Anne McLean. SpaceX Crew 10, welcome aboard ISS. Departing Crew 9 crew members posing for some final photos. Another view of the crew aboard uh, Dragon Freedom looking uh, Crew 9 crew strapped into their seats and good leak checks for their suits on the uh, Dragon Freedom. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Harper Wilmore begin their belated trip Dragon home. Separation confirmed. Undocking <laughs> occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time. 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Good opening rate reported by the visiting vehicle officer. And this is back. I wish we could have, we could spend more time with you guys, but uh, many people who love you and whom you love are waiting for you. So safe travel, Godspeed. View of Dragon from the International Space Station now quite a bit smaller than when we just saw a few minutes ago.